how excited are you for playing NCAAs and to be playing at home? Yeah, I mean, we're really excited. We put ourselves in a great position. Um, so I think, you know, we have a lot to prove and we're really excited to start that tomorrow. And obviously this is what we came here to do. So yeah, we're just, we're ready to make a good run at it. What was uh, your reaction, the team's reaction to earning a uh, top four seed this season? Um, I think obviously we were thrilled, you know, it was, it was a little bit difficult to know um, what that seed would ultimately be. But I think, you know, we've proven ourselves at certain points in the season and I think you know we're really excited to make the most of getting these home games early on it's a huge advantage and um, we're going to make sure that we utilize that. What does a what does a mindset have to be for a postseason run maybe what did, what did you learn from the Big Ten tournament the past NCAAs to just what's your mindset heading into this NCAA tournament? Yeah, um, I mean, I think we've been talking a lot about not playing to not lose and playing like we're fighting for something. We're aggressive, we're ready to go kill the opponent, we're not holding anything back. So, you know, I think obviously um, we maybe were a little bit timid and we were playing to not make a mistake, to not lose the game. And obviously that's when we're not at our best. So I think we have to really just go after it and realize that it's win or go home. So we got to leave everything out there and that's our best shot at um, the outcomes that we want. Playing only a couple of games the last few weeks, potentially having the chance to play two in one weekend, do you think that helps you or hurts you uh, having kind of uh, reduced work in, in games the last three weeks? Um, you know, I think it helps us. We're ready to get out there and like just let it all rip on the field. I think, you know, it's it's kind of hard when you go through long stretches of practice. I think it's good because we were able to tighten some things up, but we're really ready to get out onto the field and unleash everything. And I think, you know, tomorrow is a really great opportunity for us to build some momentum. Um, and if we take care of business tomorrow, then we're going to have that momentum going into Sunday. So I think we're really excited for uh, the opportunity to, to do that. What were some, uh, what were some you worked on in practice this week, maybe uh, offensively, defensively, what were some key points going uh, in practice? Yeah, I mean, obviously, I can only really speak from an offensive perspective, but I think we're really working a lot on our spacing, on moving the ball, on being confident with the ball, and all being threats, and really opening up those hard dodging lanes to Cage. I think, you know, the past couple of games, we haven't been taking advantage of our strengths, our dodging, and our finishing, and our um, opening up lanes for each other. And so I think that we're trying to get back to that, and we're trying to be really aggressive towards Cage, but also play smart and maximize our possessions when we have the ball on our end. Cool. All right. Thank you. Thanks, Lauren. Thanks, Lauren. Right, Jill, just uh, what are your thoughts heading into this NCAA tournament, being at home and being a four seed? Um, I'm excited. I think we put ourselves in a really good position. Um, I'm excited just to go out there and kill anyone that comes out on our field. What, what's your uh, scouting report on Central Michigan? What do you have to do well against them, and what do they do well? Um, I think that we're not like focused on them so much, but just focused on ourselves and playing our game, trusting each other every step of the way, and kind of just going out there. Um, just at, like being absolute menaces on the field and then hopefully have success. What does your mindset have to be uh, heading into a postseason where every game is do or die? Um, that's exactly it. Just it's do or die and we're fighting for like each and every day. Um, so just being aware of that and kind of having that sense of urgency every day at practice in the games and then being able to um, just have that kill mindset. Um, I think it's real. It's like really um, exciting, and I think we all kind of have worked our butts off. So I think that it kind of shows how much hard work that we've put into this program and this team. What were some uh, points of emphasis in practice for you as a midfielder this week, uh, heading into this, this upcoming weekend? Um, being focused on defense. Um, I think the draw controls are still like a big factor each and every game. Um, just being able to, if you get possession, then you score goals. So being able to win the draws and then defensively, just being able to defend our cage and then offensively, just doing what we always do. First off, uh, what did it feel like to be named all Big Ten, all American this week? Um, yeah, it was great. I think that it's just had a lot to do with like our preparation and the defense and just working really hard and giving me the opportunity to um, cause turnovers and get the ground balls and that's been a big emphasis. So hopefully that led to that success. Uh, what's, your, what's your mindset heading into this uh, NCAA postseason now? Uh, maybe something you can take away from the end of the year into the Big Ten postseason and now we're counting the NCAA. 
Yeah, so I think for me especially, um, like this being my last time playing on this field, I think that's something that's going to really push me to um, play and push the rest of us to play some of our best lacrosse. Um, we're also really focused on ourselves and just completely overwhelming our opponents with all of us working together. Uh, in terms of defense, just what is your group's mindset speaking as a, as a senior leader back to the entire defense? Uh, what do you guys think you especially do well defensively? Yeah, so we really just want to be like dangerous and, like I said before, like overwhelming our opponents. I think um, we have such strong athleticism and uh, Madison's been doing great in the cage, so we just really want to trust ourselves and trust our 1v1 defense and overwhelm our opponents with all of us on the defensive end. You said being a senior this you know, last run here at home, just what does it mean to lock up the four seed on Selection Sunday to be able to play here at Florida State? Yeah, I mean, like, this was a goal of ours from the beginning of the season. Obviously, we knew that the top four seeds were going to get home field advantage, and that's something that we've been really gunning for our whole season. So some of our big wins in the beginning of the year really propelled us to this point, um, and we just want to make an impact at home on our field. Thank you. Uh, first off, uh, what does it mean to be playing in NCAA, playing in postseason, and, and playing at home, having home field advantage? Yeah, we're really just grateful to be here. Um, I think it's huge being the four seed. Um, you know, having the opportunity to obviously host the first weekend, and then hopefully, if we can take care of what we need to take care of, um, have that next advantage too. So, um, you know, a lot to look forward to, and I think just really lucky to have that opportunity. And this is something we all kind of dreamed of as kids. So, just to be here and have the opportunity is really exciting. Does anything change in practice now that you're in NCAAs or is, is practice pretty much the same way how it's gone all season? No, I think it's the same. I think um, we're really trying to like increase the vibes, but in terms of tactical preparation and all that, a lot of the same things coming from, you know, how we're handling practice, how we're going about it, just trying to have fun too. What's the most important thing that this team needs to do this weekend? Uh, I think just focus on ourselves and do the little things well. Um, you know, I think sometimes we, we tend to lose focus and that's when things start to go downhill for us. But I think that um, the more we focus on ourselves and, and just kind of stick to the plan and do the little things that we've been practicing all year, um, that's when we were our best team. Is there anything that you learned over the last two, three weeks that could turn beneficial into an NCAA run postseason? Yeah, definitely. I think just make the most out of every single day. Um, don't take anything for granted and just know that like you're going to get everybody's best games. Um, and you need to come out and play your best lacrosse in order to win every single game. And now it's really, I mean, I know Big Tens was kind of win or go home, but now it's really win or go home, and especially for some of our seniors in fifth years, um, kind of playing for them too. So. All right. Thank, Thank you. you. All right, just uh, what did it mean uh, on Selection Sunday to lock up the four seed to have home field uh, for this tournament? Yeah, I mean, I think we were we were really, really excited and super grateful that that happened. Um, I think that, you know, we had the, the quality wins early on. I, I don't think we finished the season strong, and we kind of knew that maybe that could be in jeopardy, but we were excited that our full resume really made the difference for us to kind of be ahead of some of those other teams that we were able to – knock off early on and and now it's you know clean slate and it's anyone's ball game so we're really ready to fight hard and and play our best lacrosse what were the uh, what was the vibes around practice this week this league up into this weekend uh, how do you think the team is preparing for this upcoming challenge yes i i think this week we are just really trying to be as grateful as we can for every day that we have we know how special it is to be in the ncaa tournament and to to have a home advantage to have beautiful weather um we're just we're just really excited the opportunity to go out there and compete and compete hard uh for whatever we can on friday in the last week uh, sammy white was named the big 10 freshman of the year uh, what does that mean do you think you know think for her for this program just to see her up and win that award yeah i mean she she's just not only a fantastic lacrosse player but she's a great person she's a real leader for the team even though she's only a, a first year so we're really excited for her and we're excited for what's ahead i think she's got a lot of confidence right now and i think you're going to see some great things tomorrow for this game against central michigan based on your scouting what do they do well and then what turn you guys have to do well to beat Central Michigan? I would say Central Michigan is 
really coached well. Um, you know, you could see the way they play. They have a lot of energy for each other. They play really hard. They're scrappy. And, you know, that's that's going to be a, a great challenge for us. That's what we want to pride ourselves on as well. So hopefully it'll be a, a, a great battle, um, you know, between some Wildcats and some Chippewas. <laughs> Heading into a postseason, what do those really good teams, what do they, what factor do they have to have to make a run in the postseason? Yeah, I think, I think the ability to be able to go out there, appreciate what you have in front of you, and just, you know, throw it out all, all on the line. Not be afraid to put yourself out there and to take chances, take risks, and, and just really not hold back. I think that's uh, a huge mentality, and it's hard to do because, you know, so many want it so badly, and I think that you kind of have to just set that aside and really just go out there and fight, fight for the moment that you're in and, and enjoy it. Is there any difference in the way you prepare for a weekend like this because you might have you have a game on Friday, you might have one on Sunday, but you have to get past the first game on Friday. Just what mentality or mindset do you have to have to maybe keep your legs under you uh, for a Two games, three days span. There's no, there's no mindset for that. The mindset is to go out there and savor every single second of this game, so that we can live to play another day. You, you can't, you can't think that uh, you're gonna advance because you're a higher seed. I mean, that's just uh, really silly and a, and a dangerous type of mindset. So we're really focused in on Friday. We know that Central Michigan is an excellent opponent and we're really gonna just go in there and try to play our best lacrosse and see what happens. Thank you.